What's going on guys, King Trats here, back in the video on the channel. And today we have Dave's Hot Chicken. We got everything on the menu, starting with the least mild no spice, all the way up to the Reaper. The Reaper you had to sign a waiver for, which I did. That is all the way on the left, but I set it up so that it is in every spice level. I also got one meal because I wanted to try the sliders as well and the mac and cheese. So we pretty much have the entire menu save for the coleslaw, but that is on the chicken sandwich, which I didn't ask for cheese, but it came with cheese. So I'm not complaining. Um, everything looks good. It smells really good. I also want to say that the people there, the place was packed. There's a lot of people because the one near me just opened up about a month ago, three weeks to be exact. And there's a ton of people. The lines are long, but the employees were super courteous. They did not mess the order up. Um, so I always have to give a shout out to people that do things like that. Really, really, really nice people. So if any of them do happen to see this, I do appreciate you, man. It, it, it's it goes a long way. So anyway, drop a thumbs up. We got everything, the entire menu, every chicken tender, not the sliders, only one slider, the fries, the mac and cheese, the coleslaw is on there as well. So we're gonna give it a shot for the first time ever. We're trying Dave's Hot Chicken and I'm gonna get into this. I have the receipts on the bottom of these so I can remember what flavor is which. Hopefully no one messed that up because a lot of it looks the same um, to me. So I'm gonna start actually though, I wanna try these fries. So I wanna get in and try one of these fries. We're gonna get Dave's Hot Fry in here. I don't know what kind of seasoning to use on this, but the seasoning is good. My fries aren't cold yet, and they're still pretty crispy. This is a good fry. I also do have Hidden Valley Ranch here, just because um, I'm pretty sure that their sauce has pickle juice in it, but I'm still going to try it. If I don't taste the pickle, I'm still going to eat it. If I taste the pickle, we're going to the ranch. I'm just going to get that out of the way. So let's try this. Let's do the chicken sandwich. I got medium on the slider. Looks like it's a Martin potato roll. We love a Martin's potato roll. Looks like they put cheese on mine. We love cheese. And there's a slaw on here. I believe they said it's kale slaw. So that is what's on the bottom. But my first time, let's do it. The Reaper is going to put me in the ground. But I have to say, this is a good chicken sandwich. The chicken is fried perfectly. Perfectly. Really juicy on the inside. Good bite on the outside. The crust or the breading is still super crispy. Martin potato roll, never an L. Slaw adds a little bit of crunch to it. I'm sure you guys would have loved the pickle, but we don't do that here. I would use this a bunch of times over. This is really good. I also think medium is probably the perfect spice level for me when I want to have an enjoyable sandwich. When I get to this Reaper, this is going to be game over. I brought this this time because I already know. But this is like a, for me, like a 9 out of 10. It's really good. I have high expectations for this, and it pretty much nailed what I thought it would be. Nice job. Also, the ability to keep that crunch. Yes, there's ice in my milk. I like my milk super cold. But I'm going to try to make sure my palate is clean in between all that. Let's start off with the no spice. This is definitely no spice. You can see that by nothing on here. It's just the chicken itself. You do get a piece of bread with this, so you don't really need to get a slider if you ask me. I have to say, however they learn how to fry this stuff, it's fried perfectly. I could see somebody getting this if they wanted to put their own sauce on it because, again, the chicken's super juicy. It's good, man. Would I get this? No, because it doesn't have any seasoning. But if I'm judging this based off of just the way they fry it and everything else, super on point. All right, I guess we might as well get this out of the way. I'm going to try not to be extra. Hopefully I don't taste what I think I'm going to taste. I really don't. And I know it's in there. But I'm going to try not to be extra about it. 
I'm gonna get over the psychological hump. If I do taste a little bit in here, I know that there's like a vinegar base, which more than likely is pickle juice. But I'm gonna try not to be extra about this. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. We're full sun. Wouldn't be something that I would get particularly, but if you're a person who doesn't like spice at all, which I saw someone in front of me get everything no spice, I think you'll still enjoy that. It just tastes like decent fried chicken. I'm gonna like a little seasoning on it, but okay, that's not for me. There's more for you. Let me get a. All right, over here is the light mild. Now, it looks confusing because is this supposed to be light mild? Because there's still a lot of seasoning on it. I hope this is the right sauce, but let's give it a shot. It's funny because, yeah, it's not spicy at all, but there's seasoning on here, and the seasoning is on point. This almost has like a paprika, a little bit of cayenne, kind of vibe to it. That's actually kind of enjoyable. I didn't think I'd like this one. I would eat this for sure. Also, they gave me two tenders in here. Dub. Yeah. Mm. I have a feeling I'm gonna, all the way up to like maybe hot. I'm gonna really like this. Wouldn't be my first choice. I think mild would be a lot better than this. But we're about to find out. I still give that an eight. Very enjoyable. Okay, moving along to mild. I feel like mild is gonna be a sweet spot for a lot of people. Same like color on the seasoning. I'm gonna find out what the difference is between the two though. When I buy Nashville hot seasoning, I have a brand that I like. It tastes like this. Y'all eat the bread. Y'all get in here and eat the bread. I don't eat the bread. It's like eating the sandwich. It's like eating the sandwich. I'm eating the damn bread. Yeah. I eat the bread, bro. I'm not going to lie. This is crazy. It's good. Just getting to the chicken. I know all the chicken's going to be fried perfectly. Maybe if there's a day I have an unstep stomach, I would always probably get medium to hot. But this bangs. Even the flavor, it's flavorful. It's not just mild for no reason. Some places do mild and there's like no taste to it. But this has an actual distinct taste. The difference between the light, mild, and the mild is that there's a little more like cayenne in here. That makes it slightly spicier, but damn, this is good. It's really good. I didn't think it would be this good, but I like it. It's not the best Nashville hot chicken I've ever had. I've had some in different places. Maybe I can do them on a food blog one day, but as far as a franchise goes, this blows every single one out of the water that I've had. For sure. This place will be packed for a while. I don't like that. It's an eight and a half, bro. Dub. Okay, we're moving on to medium. I have a bunch of medium tenders because this is a medium tender. I've already had the medium tender, so I know how many times we're going to say medium tender before this is all said and done. But the way to do this for me, and I'm sure people are like, that's how you're supposed to do it. Listen, I went in here just nothing. Get the bread, and you just you just dig in like this. And you just do a little bit of the dip dip. Do a little bit of that dip dip right here. This is mine. This is good. Oh my. Again. Chicken's fried perfectly. That's where it starts. Once you get these seasonings going, and then you add the bread, it's just like eating a dope ass chicken sandwich for me. And the spice level on this is almost perfect. I know that the next one is gonna be the one that like really, really moves me. And this is good, man. This might be the apex, the height of it. Right here, that's a 9.3. That's a very solid, man. I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm pleasantly surprised. Very good. This says extra hot. One of these is hot. One of these is Reaper. Fuck it. Mm. 
I don't know which one's which, bro. We're just gonna go with uh, this says extra hot. We're just gonna go with with the bread. I'm gonna take one bite of each. It's gonna turn into hot ones in a second. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me get the mac and cheese real quick. Let me see if the mac and cheese rocks. Oh, that looks like shit. This does not look good. Where's my fork? Do I have a fork? I had to get my fork. So let's try. This this looks really really mid. This looks very KFC, but let's try it anyway. That's really KFC. It's not what you want in life. On a sandwich, this might work. Let me get one more bite. This is just not what I want in a mac and cheese, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, stick to the fries. Hell no. This is KFC for me. Like it's a two out of ten. One of these is hot. <laughs> one of these is one of these is hot. One of these is Reaper, and one of these is this says extra hot. So I think it is, but it's not in order, which kind of scares me. But this is what we do, man. We make premium content here. If y'all see me start tearing up, that's why. All right. If this is extra hot, it's gonna be a woo. Ooh. That's like right, I don't know if this is extra hot or hot, but that's like right about at the spice level that I want it. Anything more than that and now we're gonna start crying. And I already know it is. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty hot. It, this is... Right about at the spice level of out of 10 when you're looking at like a 6 or a 7, where I find it enjoyable. Anything after that is too much for me. But the spice is right on point. It definitely lingers a little bit. Gives you a little bit of a sweat, but it's still got a ton of flavor, and I respect that. That is really good. For sure. I would give this a 9-4. Like, this is my favorite one. If I was getting Dave's Hot Chicken just on a chill day, it would be this one. I like this. W, 9-4. So I've had every flavor of Dave's Hot Chicken so far, other than what is hot or extra hot and Reaper. Problem is, my receipts look like they got a little jumbled. So if you see me do a little extra right now, it's really hot. So far, I liked everything a lot, but... They made you sign a waiver for this, which goes and makes you a little scary, but I did. I had to sign it. Like, it is what it is. Here's my date on it. Um, this one here says Reaper, but these look exactly the same. I can't tell. They smell identical, bro. <laughs> We're just going to have to figure it out. Um, I'm going to go with this one, man. If this is Reaper, I love y'all. But let's find out what it's what it's what it's doing. It Maybe sign a waiver for this, so. Let me get a little bit of a little bit of a get on the other side too. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright. That's the one. That's the one. Um, let me be honest with you. I expected a lot hotter. That's pretty damn good. It is hot. I'm starting to sweat, but nowhere near the crazy spice level I thought it'd be. The only difference for me, more sauce. A little bit more of a linger in the throat. That's T-H-O-A-T, throat. But it also could be I'm eating hot right now, but I don't think so, because it's hotter than the one I just had. It's good, seriously. 
this wouldn't be one I'd get all the time, because I know if you eat the whole thing, that you're going to be hurting a little bit. But when I say the whole thing, I mean like a whole meal of this, two tenders, etc. But I'm not going to lie, I thought it'd be hotter. When you make me sign a waiver or something, I feel like I'm being a coma when I'm done with it. This is about as hot as the second to hot one that I ate in the Nashville hot place I did a few days ago. But it's still really good. I find it enjoyable. I would probably give this like an 8.9. I wouldn't get it every time, but for people who like spicy food, I think you'll really enjoy this. I just The, the chicken being fried on point is by far the best part. This leads us to our last formality, which is going to be the hot. Oi. Nice. I don't even know why I'm doing that. It's fine. There we go. A bit. Imagine this one's the Reaper. That'd be really bad. Did I just get the Reaper? <laughs> or is this hot? be honest with you this is the hot I think the Reaper is starting to kick in because I'm eating it so fast it's not hot but there's definitely Reaper powder on there because I've had enough Reaper things before to know when you get something like that it gives you like this little bit of like a numbness for a bit and then it subsides but as you can see like as far as the spice level goes it's really not that bad the other places I've had are a lot hotter, but this place I think has the best flavor of any of the franchises I've had. I'm very impressed with the overall quality of the chicken. I would eat this any day. Also for how packed it was, I was in and out of there. I thought it was going to take over an hour. I was out in about 30 to 35 minutes, somewhere around there. Which for the size of my order, and I mean from the time I walked in to the time that I got my food and walked out. Not in waiting in line included. About 30 to 35 minutes. Service was super on point. They didn't mess anything up. They went out of their way to make sure that I had everything when they're all said and done. Made sure I had extra sauce if I wanted it. So, I walked away from here thoroughly impressed. As far as the flavors go. My nose is starting to run, but it's not crazy spicy. You can see I just scarfed down the whole hot one. It's good. I think hot was probably my favorite, which I said it was going to be. The hot I would give a 9.52. As far as this chicken goes on this scale, I love it. A lot of people say it's mid. I don't know if you, but this new place, the service, the quality. I liked everything on the menu other than surface mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is ass. Sandwiches are on point. I think you get a good amount of food, good amount of tenders. Each one of these is five bucks. I would just get like this. I wouldn't even really worry about the fries. If you want the fries, okay. But five bucks for this? Sign me up. This is a medium, by the way. That's why I didn't eat it. Um, I mean, you can take a quick bite. Look at the size of the tender. Though. There we go. A little bit of a... Hot is my favorite. Then comes medium. Right on point. Medium has a bit of the hot powder and a bit of the mild powder. I can taste that on there. And it's the perfect blend. A little spice. Not too crazy. But I also really like the hot as well. These weren't as hot as I thought they were. I don't really think they had needed to sign a waiver. Maybe they're just doing that for like liability reasons. I don't think it was that hot. Um, but overall, this place walked in with a lot of hype in my, in my opinion. And I can see why it's worth the hype as far as a franchise goes for the price point which is around that five guys um fast casual 10 and 15 dollars per order stuff this is really really good it's up there on that scale this immediately goes into like my top three um right along with five guys it to me is is at least an elite and possibly an s tier i'd have to go again just to make sure the quality was on point but 
for the amount of people they had in here. Absolute W of a place. If you think that you watched this video to ask me if Dave's Hot Chicken is worth the hype and worth trying, unequivocally, yes. Absolutely. I will give it a shot. And if I can get my actually Dave's sauce, which I'm 99% sure has pickles in it, pickle juice, they did something. Get the medium, get the hot. If you don't like spice level, even get it without spice. Still a dub. Also like the dry rub on here. Big fan. We're 100 percent eat again. Overall, rating at a restaurant. In the fast casual genre. So I'm not rating against fast food places and so on. I have different tiers. In the fast casual genre, this place gets a 9-6. It's right up there. I get five guys a 9-7. And that's my favorite. Right in my top three. Absolutely worth the trip. That's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got a lot of chicken here. And I want to eat it all, but I'm not going to. So we'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs, they made it to YouTube.